Oops, lost the screen. Not sure if it's recording. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right, hi, this is the second lesson of the first integration pack, the one of many. Here we go. Nah, lesson. And the board's playing up. <laughs> lesson two. There we go. Get rid of that. Right, so. <coughs> talked about uh, integrating to form a log. So if, if you look, anything with a fraction, if you differentiate the bottom, and it is a factor, a multiple of the top, then it has to be a log. So it's like a general form, which is f dashed of x over f of x dx is log of f of x when you integrate it. So if I differentiate the bottom, is at the top. So the way I do it, I say, well, what have you got? So I've got a 2. What do you want? Well, if I differentiate the 3x, what I want is a 3. And then it's log of whatever was on the bottom. There. Log of 3x plus c. There is another way of writing it where you take the 2 thirds out as a factor. You kind of actually get the same answer in the end. But it just looks a little bit different. And the completed pack does that. When I say, what have you got divided by what do you want? Right, so this one, it's kind of upside down. So it's not a log. So I have to split it as two fractions. So the 4x over 2x becomes a 2. Then I've got 3 over 2x. Don't forget my dx's. So the 2, if I integrate it, becomes a 2x. And this bit, the, the 3 over 2x, becomes a log. Because if I differentiate the 2x, it's the 3-ish. So what have I got? I've got the 3. What do I want? If I differentiate the 2x, it's a 2. Log of whatever was on the bottom with a plus c. Got to be careful because I'm recording in uh, whatever it is that has like shortened videos. Now this one is an absolute mega, mega big um, example. It'll probably take two vids to do this on the five minutes. So I'm going to stop here. This is a really, really short, less than three minute video on that one.